Inside a grape plantation in Italy's rich Veneto locale, a group of archaeologists are working diligently on close to thing the far-off past. Very nearly a century sooner, specialists diving in a similar locale coincidentally found a mind-boggling find. However, at that point, the revelation was lost its presence simply supposed long into the future. Presently, this cut of old Rome has at last been uncovered. One hundred years after archaeologists uncovered a great plantation laborers returned and made a really marvelous find. But before we get subscribing to our channel is the best way to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest historical journeys content. It's like having a direct line to our channel. Let's get started. As far back as the 1900 years, the proprietors of this cut of land realized that something valuable was concealed underneath the grapevines. And in 1922, an uncovering uncovered an immense wraps of delightful mosaic likely the remaining parts of a Roman estate. However, as time walked on, the revelation was neglected, and the field put to utilize again. Be that as it may, the tale of this rich revelation concealing underneath the surface didn't totally vanish. Furthermore, throughout the long term, ranchers and archaeologists shared tales about the fabulous mosaic. Without a definite area, it was challenging for anybody to pinpoint the amazing disclosure until one group at long last raised a ruckus around town following 100 years, found near the town of Negra, bite the dust Valpolicella. In Veneto, Italy, the great plantation sits on a slope nearly 10 miles north of Verona. Today, it is a tired district known for the most part for its wine creation, while the city is popular for its associations with Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. However, back in the Roman time, this was a piece of perhaps of the best realm that the world has at any point known. Established around the 2nd century BCE, Verona was at first accepted to have been possessed by individuals from Gaul, yet by 89 BCE, it had turned into a settlement and station of the Roman realm. Situated where the streets associating Northern Europe and Italy crossed it before long developed to turn into a significant city. At the point when the Romans previously took over Verona, their human progress was as yet a republic represented by Cho's authorities. However, inside many years, the realm would dive into brutality and turmoil. In the end, in 27 BC, a ruler was delegated denoting another part in the long and muddled history of Rome. Under this new framework, the Roman domain flourished as did its stations across Europe. What's more, in Verona, an extraordinary city started to come to fruition, remembered to have been planned by the tactical planner Vitruvius. The roads were spread out in a similar lattice-like example that could be tracked down across a significant part of the domain. In the third century promotion, the head Goliath has introduced immense walls that enclose the roads and structures of Verona. Furthermore, throughout the long term, various excellent designs jumped up all through the city, with fantastic doors, numerous sanctuaries, a theater, and an amphitheater, the settlement sooner and itself the epithet of Little Rome. Notwithstanding, around 500 years after the Romans showed up in Verona, the realm at last reached a conclusion. Furthermore, as the Visigoths vanquished Rome, their partners in the east, the Ostrogoths, plunged on northern Italy, and 489 AD, Lord Theodoric involved the city fabricating a palace on the banks of the Daiji waterway. Regardless of the downfall of the Roman realm, Verona stayed a significant settlement long into the future. Nonetheless, it could never fully recover the importance that it had delighted in at the level of its power. What's more, as the years passed, its once fabulous structures rotted into ruins, turning into a simple shadow of their previous brilliance. Today, they should be visible at Verona's archaeological gallery. For quite a long time, the land where the mosaics had been found stayed undisturbed, and in time, a new proprietor assumed control over the great plantation, acquiring anything treasures were covered underneath. At long last, in 1922, neighborhood specialists supported an archaeological unearthing of the site, and something genuinely extraordinary was uncovered subsequent to exhuming a 3,000-square-foot region, 
close negra plunge Valpolicella, archaeologists tracked down some of extra mosaics from the Roman period. As per reports, they once framed piece of an estate and started from five distinct rooms or potentially more, and as well as the tiled fine arts, the dig likewise uncovered segments of painted walls. At that point, archaeologists recorded the revelation by taking photos of the Roman estate. Be that as it may, no endeavor was made to eliminate the mosaics. Evidently cash should show up to finance further unearthings, however, it won't ever emerge. Furthermore, at last, the landowner lost interest in the continuous undertaking. The proprietor of the field became anxious and chosen to rebury the mosaics and ranch. The land excavator Gianni does. Okado told the New York Times in May 2020, he established a grape plantation and everything was neglected. Truth be told, if it was for diligent neighborhood bits of gossip, the estate may in all likelihood never have been rediscovered. As the years passed, neighborhood ranchers kept on recounting the Roman vestiges underneath the field. What's more, from time to time, a piece about the estate would show up in a scholarly distribution. In any case, for the greater part of the occupants of the locale, the piece of land outside Negra bite the dust. Valpolicella was basically a great plantation, and just an adjoining occupant introduced a basement on their property, uncovering the encompassing area, and Furz Okado, who heads up the Director of Prehistoric Studies, Expressive Arts, and Scene of Verona. The gamble was excessively perfect to bear apprehensive that further advancement could make harm the covered mosaics. He proposed an expert unearthing in 2019. Notwithstanding, there was an issue. Back in 1922, archaeologists had not recorded the specific area of the mosaics, and in spite of various forthcoming unearthings throughout the long term, an assertion by neighborhood specialists guaranteed no one had figured out how to find it. Nonetheless, Zaikato and his not entirely set in stone to succeed. In spite of their assurance, the archaeologists had no clue about where to start searching for the mosaics, and that was their main issue. Furthermore, 2020 the worldwide COVID pandemic hit Italy, and work on the exhuming was shut down for various months. In the long run, in May 2020, archaeologists had the option to continue work at the site. In the first place, the group utilized ground entering radar to attempt to find the area of the mosaics. Notwithstanding, that approach at last fizzled. In a meeting with the New York Times as Okado made sense of the challenges, it did work out positively, in light of the fact that the landscape and the plant roots upset the perusing. He said, when that strategy didn't work, the archaeologists went to a more customary methodology. Thus, they dug various exploratory channels with the expectation that the mosaics would uncover themselves. Back in 2007 for Derek Rinaldi, an excavator who currently fills in as the head of Rome's well-known Colossian distributed a book about mosaics. Specifically, she zeroed in on craftsmanship situated in Veneto, the locale of Italy that envelops Verona and the encompassing region. And surprisingly, however, the Negra kicked the bucket Valpolicella pieces had for some time been lost. She remembered them for the conversation. Utilizing photos dating from the 1922 unearthing, Rinaldi had the option to assess the date when the mosaics were laid, and in the wake of contrasting them and different craftsmanships nearby. She checked that they were built eventually during the 3rd or 4th century promotion. Around then, the Roman domain had started to decline. However, Verona was as yet a significant city. At the point when archaeologists at last moved the mosaics 13 years after Rinaldi, his book was distributed. She was excited. It's a significant find, she told the New York Times. Evidently, the occupants of Roman Verona were known for their remarkable taste and deck, which has made the disclosure much more critical the as per Rinaldi. The mosaic is an especially fine model that remaining parts in shockingly great shape for its age. Scarcely any estates have been found with such all-around saved and top-notch models she made sense of. In any case, what might the disclosure at any point enlighten us regarding individuals who once resided in this amazing home? As the most recent unearthings have affirmed the mosaic elements a mathematical plan of red and blue tiles. 
Normally, these fine arts were manufactured from small bits of veneer or glass. In spite of the fact that it isn't clear which material was utilized to build the Negra de Galpolicella find. Notwithstanding, specialists accept that the estate was possible the home of somebody who partook in a healthy level of riches. Indeed, the style of the mosaic proposes that it was worked for a generally rich and persuasive Roman. As a matter of fact, a few specialists suspect that the whole district known for its pleasant normal excellence might have worked as a vacation spot. Thusly, the estate might have been built by an individual from Verona's high society, who involved it as a vacation home. In an explanation distributed by the neighborhood experts on May 26, authorities affirmed that the last mosaics had at last been migrated after endless many years of bond endeavors. As indicated by the declaration, the archaeologists set off on a mission to recognize the specific expansion and precise area of the old structure, and fortunately, they succeeded. Moving advances the assertion made sense of, the specialists will be working intimately with the administrator of prehistoric studies, expressive arts, and scene of Verona to decide the fate of the mosaic. Notwithstanding, they recognized that huge assets would be expected to exhume and protect the revelation completely. Then neighborhood paper meets, the specialists affirm that protecting the mosaic is high on their rundown of needs. Addressing the paper, Lorena Roberto Grison, the city hall leader of Negra de Galpolicella made sense of, we accept a social side of this worth merits consideration and ought to be upgraded. Thus, along with the director and those responsible for farming assets, we will figure out how to make this fortune agreeable. Grison proceeded. Be that as it may, notwithstanding the cases of the town's city chairman, Zachkato, and his group rushed to take note of the hardships engaged with saving the mosaics. On the off chance that we uncover everything, we need to ensure that we can secure and moderate the site, even before we discuss potentially moving it to an exhibition halls, Okado made sense of. As of now, the group is thinking about various opportunities for the fate of the mosaic. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing.